We're trying to get through all the exciting stuff here at Oshkosh, and obviously electrical or electric airplanes are kind of an interesting buzzword, but there hasn't been a whole lot of practicality. But here you are with a product and a product that's being sold. Tell me about Alpha Electro. Okay, Pipistrel has been a leader in uh, electric flight for quite a while. We won a contest several years ago. Uh, we flew uh, the G4, and they have continued to build on the technology that was developed. They won a contest, and they won over a million dollars about four years ago. Since then, they've taken a tremendous interest in electric. Electric is not yet used in flight training, but we're about to change that. We've got six aircraft sold in California already. Two here that Lee and his company are going to be using in the Los Angeles area. There are limitations to electric, but there's also tremendous advantages to it, and we think we've got one that's actually going to really work. Boy, an electric airplane in, in California, they're going to worship you like a god. <laughs> yeah, so we were really excited when the Pipistrel came out with this electric aircraft because of its capabilities. Um, it gets an hour of flight time and a half hour of reserves. Additionally, it's only 45 minutes to charge. So you can get up in the air, do an hour of flight time, plug it in, do a briefing with the pilot, get a new pilot, and get back right up there. So we're really excited about it. Rand, tell me the overall specs for the aircraft as it stands right now and availability, and i got to ask you, how much? The base price is about 136000 but that includes your fuel for the first 500 cycles, so 500 hours. Availability, the factory is in production now. We've opened a new factory in northern Italy, which provides a lot of space and ability to do the development quickly. As orders increase, we'll be able to have more coming in. Delivery is about five to six months from order to delivery. What kind of performance numbers are you quoting? Climb is going to be right at about over a thousand feet a minute and the pattern speeds 70 knots that will give you about an hour's endurance we actually recapture some of that energy in the descent and so it's really designed for pattern work right now as battery technology improves we expect it to be available for cross-country flights as well you're capturing power in the set so it's a regenerative power plant exactly cool. yeah. okay. how are you going to be utilizing this aircraft well, our school actually has a youth program where we teach kids to fly, and we use the profits from the adult flight school to do that. What we'll be doing with this and why we're so excited about it is we can provide really low-cost training to the youth, and there's a real pilot shortage coming up. We're hoping to fill that. Now, where did this all come from? What kind of impetus was behind this project right now, especially when both the power plant and the battery technology are in such formative stages? Well, obviously the car industry is ahead of us. The weight is not as critical in cars, so it makes it a lot easier for them to develop systems that work well. But NASA and the Green Flight Challenge that occurred about four and a half years ago was the impetus that really got us started. The Green Flight Challenge asked companies to compete, and there were about six different companies that actually entered a model in a competition in California that asked for somebody to build an electric airplane that could fly for 200 miles with uh, at least 100 passenger miles per gallon. Pipistrel G4, it was a four-place aircraft with one propeller, beat that. We had 107 mile an hour speed, made it 200 miles, and did it at a noise level that was very low. And it won us at $1.35 million that they used to develop the electric aircraft you're looking at right behind us. And finally, what kind of production capability is there? I know you're talking about the time involved, but how many of these can they produce? Right now, we've got the new factory, which is going to be for our Panthera, as well as all of our other aircraft. We're building about 10 to 12 aircraft a month right now, and if orders pick up, we've got the, the capacity to more than double that. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us with Airborne and Aero TV. We look forward to seeing this down the line, and I think I've got an invite from Mike at some point to fly it, and I can't wait. Thank you, gentlemen. Good. Thanks, thank you. Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by... We started with a 14-inch longer fuselage, high-end interior finishes, Garmin G3000 flight deck, and a fourth window to give additional natural light to the cabin. We then redesigned the wings and horizontal tail, increasing the wingspan by a full four feet. Welcome to the jet life. Trig Avionics. More pilots are realizing the benefits of Trig. We make innovative certified avionics that are easier to install and operate. Backed with the best support and warranty in the business. 
Contact your approved Trig dealer now. www.trig-avionics.com.